Hey, hi there YouTube, and welcome to my video about direct proportion. Now, direct proportion is where a link between two values will always stay the same. And it sort of ties in a bit with ratio and how as one value goes up, the other will go up by an equal amount. And you can also have it where one goes up, one decreases. However, my video, more of an introduction video, is going to cover about where <clears throat> as one goes up, the other will go up by an equal amount. So what do I mean by this? Um, say for example someone goes into a shop and buys £10 worth of footballs. And with that £10 he would have brought two footballs. Now, you see, this is a very obvious example. If he buys three footballs, he would have spent £15. So you can see the link. Obviously, if the person is going to buy more footballs, he's going to end up spending more, and it's going to equally go up spending more, uh, one uh, five pounds per ball. So this five pounds per ball is the K, and the K is the, the almost the proportion between the two values. And we work out this K by dividing the cost, so the output by the k times the number of footballs. Perhaps we should sort these rounds to make it easier, but just you just have to remember that the k value will always stay the same. And I can tell you why. So you have the number of footballs. So represent that as f. And if you multiply this by the, the k value, which is the, sort of the multiply value, we will get the cost I'll represent a C. So as the cost increases, it will increase by K. I mean, this makes this makes sense. If you buy ten footballs, you're gonna yeah, you buy ten footballs, you're gonna multiply it by K, which is almost the cost per ball in this case. You're gonna get the total cost, which is gonna be fifty pounds. And you can use this equation. This is for this equation is only only works when both values are in direct proportion. So as one goes up, the other will go up. So with that in mind, if this person spent twenty five pounds, how many footballs is he going to get? Now obviously you can just work this out in your head. But remember the K stays the same. So Actually, actually, first of all, we're going to work out the K. I know we've already got it given to us, but let's pretend we haven't. So using this equation, we can work out what K is first. So K is equal to C divided by C divided by F. Because what we want to do is we want to make sure that K is the only letter which is on one side of the equation. If you if you've um, used algebra in the used algebra before, you understand this. And to get k on its own, I have to divide by f, and I have to do the both the same to both sides. So I have to do c divided by f. Okay, so the cost. So let's use one of our examples. We're pretending k isn't here. So fifteen pounds which is C, divided by the number of footballs, which is F, we get our K. So that's just to confirm, to work out what our K is, because it's very unlikely that you'll be given the K in your exams, <coughs> or in any problems you have to solve. So that's just a heads up on how to solve the K. So once you've solved the K, you can move on to the, the row where the where you have your missing values, which you want to find out. So if you go back to this equation, <coughs> we have the cost, we also have the K. Now you want to find out how many footballs. So to get the number of footballs on its own, we have to divide by K. So C divided by K. Now just move the page up so you can see. So F equals C. Divided by, rather than the K. Okay, 
that's a rubbish K, but you can see what I mean, divided by K. So we've got 25 pounds here, see? So 25 divided by K, which is 5, is going to equal 5. So the number of footballs we'll get for 5 pounds, sorry, for 25 pounds, is going to be 5 footballs. I mean, you can see this makes perfect sense. And if you were going to purchase five footballs for five pounds each or five dollars each, it's going to cost you twenty-five pounds. So I'd advise you to just remember this equation. The k is multiplied by the smallest value, <coughs> unless the k is going to be a a, a decimal, so not point so and so, so it makes values, but just forget I said that, just you have to use your common sense to work out what the k is and once you've worked out this equation uh, once you've worked out what k is you can begin using this equation to work out your missing values um, I'd advise touching up a bit on <coughs> algebra I've got a few videos on my channel about algebra so be sure to check out them <coughs> because it'll help you in rearranging your formula to work out the value which you do not know. Uh, so I hope, th hope this video helped you in your understanding about direct proportion. Be sure to check out my next video when I'm going to talk about indirect proportion which is where if one value rises the other value fall falls. It's a, use a, quite a considerably different equation in that and <coughs> it is a bit more advanced so if you're looking to progress, watch this, watch the next video. Uh, thanks for watching this, and please subscribe to my channel, and please leave any feedback on how you found this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.